hey guys welcome back to my channel I couldn't even say that um I've stamped and uh in a um ink on three black ink it's a detail black ink um the flower fairy called Holly and I'm going to watercolor him using the zig clean color real brush markers um I just picked some reds and some greens you'll see in a bit um and I'm just taking a water aqua marker or a water brush marker is that what they're called <laughs> I'm not even sure what they're called um but it's just like a like a pen with a brush nib on the end and it's got you fill the chamber with some water um I'm trying to use them more and more because they're a lot easier there's a lot less faffing um than you would get with a pot of water and some um and a paintbrush but it's different so and it takes a bit of getting used to so all I'm doing is I'm lobbing on some color it's a technical term <laughs> so just um, putting some color on and then just going I'm not being too careful about where I'm adding it I'm just getting the color on there and then letting the the water and the ink and the paper just do its thing this is a watercolor paper and I'm just letting it do its thing here I'm, I'm not being too careful as you can see I'm just throwing some color on there sometimes if you don't know the paper if you're not you know if you've not used it before if you've not played with particular products with that paper it's nice to this is a good way to sort of just see an experiment and see what it, how it reacts and how it moves on the paper and because every every watercolor paper is going to be a bit different um, so I'm just getting all my darker green leaves done here and like I say if you had a basic set um, I think there are I think they come in a set of 12 as a like a basic set it's got some basic colors in there um, you would be able to do this um, maybe 24 colors just so you've got a couple different greens I can't remember if the basic set has more than one green but you just I'm putting the color on and then I'm just dragging it out with the with the water brush it honestly looks really pink on screen <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's it's not it's it's red it's one of the reds and um, I'm just like I say adding some color in and then just dragging it out or just moving that color around to get this watercolor look um, which is you know I, I love that look because it's not it's not like a like a lovely blended look it's kind of messy and I think that's what where watercolor is very forgiving as well is because it's so it's got that it's it's supposed to have that messy look that's the you know that's that's a watercolor look um or for me anyway so you can see here with this sort of more olive green that I'm really not being very careful at all <laughs> I'm just chucking the color wherever and just dragging it out and I did realize when I was editing this video that I actually probably colored this slightly wrong <laughs> so, so you'd have to forgive me but I'm going to call it artistic uh, integrity is that what they call it I don't know I don't know I'm making stuff up um, on the reds I did bring in a darker red because um, it did look a little pale in reality you know in real life when I was doing this um, it like I say it looked really pink on screen it's not pink at all um, and then I'm just using the same color as the leaves for his shoes but really the bit underneath the um, I guess his belt should have been the same green and I think his trouser pants should have been in the red <laughs> but you know it's okay and then I took a very pale blue and I just again just threw some color on there and I'm just dragging it out to make it look kind of like um, I wanted that sort of see-through wing kind of look um, and it actually works quite well it just it's just a very very pale pale blue and then just getting my um, all the woody bits of the holly so this is a, a flower fairies holly 
the name of the of the fairy is Holly um, and it craft I got this from crafters companion when they had the license for the flower fairies and um, I've had it for many 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 years um, I have quite a few of the different flower fairies So you would have noticed as well that I taped it to a board. This just helps with the warping side of things with a when you're watercoloring. Um, so although the paper can take a lot of water because it's made for that, um, taping it down just makes it a little easier when you're trying to um, watercolor. And so now what I'm going to do, and this is I love how this looks. Um, I'm taking a you could use a black marker, which I, I didn't have. So I'm using a C7, which is a very dark Copic uh, marker in a gray. Um, and it's a cool gray. So it's um, more on the blue side than the brown side of, of the grays, of the warm and cool grays. And um, I just, I'm basically filling in the background in this color. Now, because this is a watercolor paper, the Kobe marker doesn't play very well with it so it was quite hard to actually get it to do its thing when I was doing it in smaller areas or like the more um, detailed areas it seemed to flow a little bit better but as I get to the the sort of more open areas it it struggled a bit so you'll see <laughs> um, but I just I persevered and I just kept doing little bit by little bit by little bit and I I love it I, it just turned out so nice um, it almost highlights the main image so this would be stunning if you did this with a black or a really dark blue as well for the background um, or the grey and had a big floral or a um, you know like maybe you've got a stamp that is a but you know a big rose or a um, you know any floral would work really really well or if you had floral images and you stamped them multiple times um, leaving gaps for the background and then did this it would look so so good so I might have to try that but I don't really have a lot of florals I don't really tend to keep the floral stuff for some reason not a florally person I think that's what it is <laughs> so, um, even though they're stunning but I just tend to not buy those sort of stamps so I, I have to apologize I've been MIA for about I think I worked out the other day it's probably the best part of a month and um, we had some well we had something tragic happen in our family and um, that was very sudden um, and has oh I don't even know the words we're just we're mortified <laughs> and devastated that it happened so um and I've been ill so I haven't been posting these I made quite a long time ago so um not expecting what happened to happen not expecting to get ill we had a bit of a covid threat as well so that wasn't <laughs> didn't help things um and some other stress that was going on at the same time so it just with all that that happened i just had to take some time out so i hope you guys will understand um which i'm sure you will but yeah so that's why i've been a bit mia <laughs> so um but yeah, this this was fun to do. It's it's a really good, um, it's a nice kind of project to do because it's the, the watercoloring takes a bit of time to do, but it's I find it quite therapeutic. And then this coloring, although this did take a long time, and like I say, the Copics don't alcohol markers don't play well with watercolor paper, but it worked, and I think it just stands out so much nicer. So now I'm gonna stamp. A sentiment um, I do actually change my mind halfway because <laughs> this didn't quite show up as well as it sh as it could have done or what I thought it was gonna do so this is I believe some tranquil tide um, paper from Stampin' Up from cardstock 
and initially I was going to use the Sparkle um, Nouveau embossing powder but it really you'll see in a second it doesn't really show up enough for you to see it nicely once it's embossed excuse me so I changed my mind and I actually used just a plain white and that seemed to work much much better so I put the um, what's that thing called <laughs> God, it's been a while can you tell um, I put the antistatic powder tool on first um, and that just it takes any static out of the paper or from the paper and it also any oils that are in your hands or your fingers um, the powder when you put it on where you've stamped it will only stick to where you've stamped rather than those areas that you might have had some oil or you know if you've put lotion on your hands or something like that so here I'm stamping it again so that um, I can just put some white embossing powder over the top much better it just looks much nicer um, I think I was trying to use the other one just because I don't really have any white on the card so um, but it, it worked it still coordinates quite nicely and I got a bit too much so I'm just getting that off before I heat emboss it once you heat emboss it it'll be stuck there forever so make sure you dust off any particles of, of embossing powder before you emboss it um, before you heat set it um, and that way they won't you know they won't emboss so you'll have this lovely um, sentiment or image depending what you're doing so what I'm going to do is take that die that's sitting on the top right and it comes from an old um, Project Life Stampin' Up I got it through Stampin' Up um, die set so what I did was I die cut from one side and then once I die cut that piece I then moved the die over to, to shorten that die so that it's actually smaller than the actual die itself that made any sense I probably need to do a better video of that but it just helps to shorten it so that I've got a smaller um, sentiment strip and then I also used some waffle flower A2 they're like stackable dies they're really thin dies but they've got like loads of them in there and I just die cut it smaller so that it would sit on the card um, it would just be a bit a bit nicer have a nice border around the edge um, in the same color card as the sentiment and then I'm just going to pop this little guy up like so and the last thing we're going to add is a some champagne rhinestones from Stampin' Up and they are I just think they're the right kind of color for Christmas um, and, and I think for this card in particular they just it seemed to work really well um, and I'm not very good with where I place these kind of things so I just kind of I just kind of wing it so, <laughs> so I hope you um, I hope you like this card um, it is a more time consuming card it is something that will take you a bit longer which is I know essentially what I've just said but it will take you longer to do but it's more therapeutic than probably most of the cards I make um, I just found it really nice to sit in watercolor if you're not used to watercoloring just stamp an image um, and just sit in watercolor it you don't have to do anything with it but if you want to you then have something pre pre-colored ready to go for you and I think it turned out really quite nice um, I do love the the background being the color it is it's just so different but it's so dynamic especially with the colors being as bright as they are so i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you in the next one guys bye